it's awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed being out here. The course was amazing, and uh, I'm just so proud of my team and how we played. And um, I'm really thankful for being here, and uh, just so happy. I mean, it's it's something. It's not every day you get to win conference, and I'm just so proud of how my team played to hold on. And uh, just I thought it was it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed being here. Um, I thought we pretty much had it when I stepped on tee box on 18. I knew that uh, we it didn't really matter what I did on that hole that we we pretty much had it, and so that's a great feeling. You kind of kind of just you play a little conservative, but at the same time you know that it's okay because you're gonna win. So I mean I think that's where it really hit me walking on the 18 tee box. Coming into the final round with the lead, uh, knowing that everybody's gonna have to gun for you guys, what was the approach? Um, I think the approach, honestly, was just playing how we did, just winning the day every day and uh, continue to just not play conservative, but just play smart. Don't put yourself in too bad of situations. Um, I thought that we really minimized well. Just if you hit a bad shot, just make sure you don't make any big numbers. And I think that's that's what really helped us can maintain our lead. Individually, not having your next closest competitor there in your same group, yeah, I will say it's it is different. Um, on on or yesterday we I had I played with Pep and uh, I thought I mean we went at each other and it was a battle and I really enjoyed it and uh, I mean he played fantastic. He's a great tournament for him and uh, it it was a little different because you don't you don't really know where you're at at any time and so it's kind of hard. But um, I thought it was I thought it was good for our team to be where we were. So I mean it it's just it happens. Did you ask, or did somebody tell you where he finished when you got Yes, there? when I got to 17, I asked, and when I found out, um, I, I played 18 a little more different than I normally would. But, um, yeah, I, I when I found out, I knew that I had a three-shot lead going into 18. I knew that I just needed to keep it in play, and I, I'd get the victory. So. How about some thoughts on you guys getting to go to regionals now? Oh, uh, we're – I mean, I'm ecstatic, and I think everybody on my team is too. I mean, uh, I'm not sure where we're going because you never know until – later but um i it's it's just awesome to be in the postseason to have a, a chance to really compete and to just keep going and you never you never want to have your conference championship be your last tournament i mean you always want to keep going so i'm just looking forward to, to playing and competing with the best okay let's just finish up by talking about the hometown aspect of it all. yeah the, the, the thing about having all your family here and being so yeah close. And of course you played a lot in your amateur days yeah yeah, it was. Um, I mean, it, it obviously helped. I mean, it's always good to be. You feel a little more comfortable. You feel you have your family there. You don't get to see them very often, and so that was. I mean, that always makes you feel good. But um, yeah, being here, practice when you practice out here in high school, it, where your team practiced. I mean, it, it does help because you know a little bit of the places where you can miss that most people don't know, and you know the greens a little better. But at the same time, I mean, it was just it was just a blessing to be here, and uh, just so thankful.